So this uh, sketch is actually done from a sketch that I did a while ago on a piece of paper um, that I'm going to develop and change into a sort of sad king character. It kind of relies on your ability to get some gesture drawing and some basic forms done already. Um, and we're going to focus on uh, how to embellish, add, and change things from a figure sketch into more of a concept design or uh, figure illustration. Uh, the first thing you do, as always, is just develop the forms from the gesture onward. Um, and you don't want to get too detailed in terms of um, any kind of fabric or anything more than the basic forms because you want the freedom to embellish and add your own twist on top of it. Um, in this original sketch, the legs were positioned slightly differently and the arms were positioned a little differently. He was wearing uh, street clothes and shoes and the light was coming from the opposite direction entirely. So um, using your knowledge of forms and having drawn a bunch of uh, cylinders and boxes will help a lot when you add lighting uh, to your concept art. And whenever you do a design, you want to be sure that you give it a little bit of context. Um, here, um, you know, a fully realized illustration would kind of involve uh, a whole throne room, but just to indicate what's going on a little bit, I'm going to include a little bit of the throne. And since I'm doing this digitally, um, it's a little bit hard to get soft, the softest lines possible. Uh, so instead, I'm just kind of decreasing the opacity each layer until the last few layers so that I can add and change. Um, and here I'm kind of beginning the embellishment stage. I've got the forms out, but now I need to give them some clothing. I'm thinking kind of a loose garment that's somewhere between a cloak and a jacket with a high collar. Um, so the first thing to go in is the high collar, then kind of loose fabric around the shoulders, and then I would like to have it kind of drape onto the throne and down a little bit, but maybe not hang all the way down to the ground, um, because I feel like you should be able to move in it uh, where the figure uh, able to stand and get up. Um, I wanted to give him a, kind of a pointed crown with eight directions uh, on it, um, eight points. Uh, and then I want to make sure that I finish off the garment on both sides and kind of give it some uh, dimension as if you can see it uh, on either side of the figure. Rather than street shoes, I'm going to convert these to boots now um, and give the boots a little bit of uh, dimension by kind of paying attention to where some seams would be. Um, and I want to be sure to kind of skip around and develop this figure all together rather than over developing any one area and then finding out that the rest of the figure isn't complete at all. So here the initial foot was turned out a little more so I'm going to turn that back in when I convert this into a boot um, and I'm going to try to, to make the boot as symmetrical with the other as possible. Um, still it looks like he has leggings on so we're going to have to come back and fix that uh, later. I want to work into the throne a little bit and just kind of make this pseudo organic kind of thrown rather than anything too formal, as if it were kind of rough hewn wood or something like that. Um, and again, that throne is basically adapted from a regular old chair. Um, so here I'm going back into the, the uh, leggings and turning them from leggings into more of, of a loose type of pants. And then uh, I'll reduce the opacity on that layer as well. Uh, so that when I go back in with the value layer, the value, the initial value is going to be about the same value as all the line work that I've done, leaving me room to do line work towards the end. The first thing I want to do is just kind of poster everything, decide where the light and dark is going to go. I'd kind of like the king's face to be in shadow, so I'm going to shift the light from being on his face to being from behind. So I'm going to just cover up half, half or more of the figure with some tone, cover up the chair, And then once that's done, it'll be a little bit easier to progress the drawing. Uh, I can start to deepen some shadows, work on some shadow cores, 
and start to push the values down where they need to go to kind of create a fully realized idea for some concept art. Um, one of the things that I like doing is developing an idea to a certain extent, um, making sure that it's pretty clear, but leaving some room for adaptation if I were to pick this up and develop it even further. So one of the things you want to do relatively early on after applying values, get some darks in there, uh, just to be sure that you have the room to darken and lighten anything that you see fit. The other thing about the context is you want to be sure to get some ground shadows in there and begin to develop the context a little bit more. Um, here I'm pushing the shadow down into the uh, into the chest and around the neck so that because I know those are kind of not getting any sort of light. And then I want to work into the garments, get make sure that the jacket kind of has some shadow going on in an interesting way. And uh, I want to keep uh, developing uh, random little parts just to be sure that I've kind of touched every square inch of the figure and made sure that, that everything's about the same level. Uh, not everything needs to come up to the same level of detail, but you do want to uh, make sure that everything is at least considered in the drawing. Um, you don't want to leave anything uh, up to chance or do anything that you haven't done by choice. So I've noticed that here I didn't create enough value differentiation, so I'm going to sync the value between the arm and the chest down and as if the jacket's going behind there. Um, and then I'm going to push some shadow cores just a little bit more so they're a little bit more dramatic. And this is kind of the back and forth process of value, just pushing value down, pushing value down further again and again and again until you kind of get something that you're a little more happy with. And then I kind of realized that there wouldn't be much value or much light on this arm so that the arm that he's leaning on kind of has to go completely in shadow. Um, and then from there, now that you have a pretty fairly developed value layer going on, um, you're going to have to progress into uh, some finishing touches. One of the things I realized is that I didn't get much value on the floor, for the, especially for the, for the throne itself. So that had to come in. And then on the last layer, um, I'm going to need to do something to finish it off without rendering every little detail. So I'm going to use some contour line, uh, not a lot, but enough to uh, make sure that the character has some definition to it. Um, and you'll notice that most of the line work that I'm putting in isn't actually on the outside contour of the figure at all. It's all stuff that's contained within the outer boundary. Yes, I'm using some contour on the outer boundary, but that's not the only thing that I'm using. I'm using some contour uh, on the on each of the arms, on the head, around the crown, and so on, so that it becomes uh, finished, balanced, but still has the energy of a really interesting sketch. <laughs> 